Okay. All right, so I'm going to let that set up for a second. Uh, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to clean off my clear blender first. Again, just have a scrap piece of paper right next to me all the time. Clear off my uh, blender, and now I'm going to go in and do the pillows. I'm sticking with a um, little bit of a theme here between browns and reds. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use, this is a Tuscan red, um, any kind of red or brick red or anything might work. I'm going to go in, I'm going to lay in some basic color, okay, especially in, in some of these darker areas. I'm going to lay in some basic color with the pure marker. Okay, now, here's the fun part. Back to our clear blender. Going to lay down some color on this plastic plate, and again, you could use, um, I don't know, you could use an old chinette plate or a, a styrofoam plate or whatever it is you want to use. Um, it doesn't have to be a clear plate, this is just what I had available right now. Now I've taken some of that color on my marker, and I'm just going to put it, and, and the more I apply it, the lighter it gets. So the first stroke is pretty close to the original color, and then each stroke after that becomes a little bit lighter. I've got my fourth pillow back there that I almost forgot about. All right, so we've got some good basics going here. Did. I just went over the edge, but there are no mistakes, only happy accidents. All right, I'm going to clean off my blender, get that red off of there, because you never know what color you're going to use next. Uh, now I'm going to go back with that original red, because the paper is still moist, so we're going to get some absorbency here, which is going to be kind of cool. I'm just going to go back in these areas where I originally did that dark gray. And I just want some of this pure color in there. And what happens, since the paper is wet, you just touch and the marker will, will kind of just bleed out a little bit. So you kind of have to watch it, but that's okay. Again, remember, it's real easy to fix mistakes with pencil. Okay, so there, I've got some red in there. Now, also, the way I like to work is I like to add some, uh, if I'm doing a little bit of color here, I like to add that color, even if it's just like in a shadow. You won't necessarily see the color, but your eye will make it feel that the entire illustration is working together as a whole. All right. I'm gonna take my clear blender, since this is moist, and I'm just gonna give a quick scrub, give a quick scrub, that looks good to me. Now, I'm going to go in with a little bit of light pencil. Uh, white, light gray, light cream, um, and I'm going to add some highlights. And highlights really do create that little, little sense of sparkle. You missed a spot. Okay. Highlights add that little sense of sparkle uh, that help attract our eye to a drawing. And same thing over here. I'm just going to kind of scrub in a little bit of, like streak a little bit of white here and there. 